Are you confident? Do you believe yourself to be a confident person? Do you believe that you have a good amount of confidence? Or do you look at others who are seemingly confident all the time, can talk to anybody, make friends with anybody? Do you look at them with envy, with jealousy? Like, why can't I be as confident as them? How are they so confident? What do they do? They can always talk to people with no fear, no social anxiety. How? How are they always talking? And that's because confident people don't need to talk. First things first, how are you? Yeah, I hope things have been good and I hope things have been right. There's a chance that maybe no one has asked you that out of all of today. Now, that situation I just explained, that was me. I used to always look at other people with envy who were confident, who were okay with talking to anyone. No matter what gender they were. You know, all my guy friends were just talking to, you know, a bunch of other, other, what was it, groups, you know, big groups with a lot of girls and with no issue. And I was sat there like, women, people, scary. I didn't know how they did it. I didn't know how they were so confident. And I was always jealous. And it wasn't until I learned something, something quite important from someone on my journey on self-improvement for two years now. Someone that basically taught me a lot and he explained to me that a truly confident person can sit in silence with no problem. And that goes for any situation. He can sit in silence at home with no issue. He can sit in silence with a person, with another person, you know, you're talking with someone and then you get to that awkward silence, an awkward pause, like there's nothing to say, you don't know what to say. A truly competent person is okay in those situations. He can sit down in silence with no problem. Now you probably weren't expecting me to say that, that, oh, a competent person, you have to be able to talk all the time. A truly competent person is okay with quiet, with being quiet, with a bit of silence. Now, if you think about it, like if you really think about it, it kind of makes sense. You know, you're talking with someone and you do get to an awkward silence. You know, you both don't really know what to say. A truly competent person would just sit down and smile. He doesn't feel uncomfortable. He is completely okay with those silent, quiet moments. Imagine what that would be like if you were that confident. That confident that you didn't need to talk all the time. But you could if you wanted to. You know, when you do speak, your voice is heard. You think about what you say. And then you say it with no issue. You don't th even worry about like, oh, what, what, is this a, a okay thing to say? What if people are like, ugh? You don't even think about it. You just talk with comfortability and then you're okay with silence. Imagine being that confident. And there is one thing I did. One thing that I did, which is kind of weird if I tell you about it. Probably some people would think it's strange. That actually helped me become okay with silence. Not needing to feel like I have to speak all the time. And that was coffee shops. Really weird. Don't think you're expecting me to say that. Completely understandable. It's a fucking random thing I just said <laughs> in the middle of a video talking about how to improve your confidence, but truly understanding confidence of what it means. And I just turn around, I'm like, coffee shops. <laughs> so I'd go into a cafe. I would leave my house with the intended purpose of improving my confidence. That was it. You know, I wasn't going to go out into a shop. I wasn't going to go out and skate. I was literally, the intended purpose was I'm going to become more confident. I'd go out with my book, with my book that I write down all these scripts for these YouTube videos, all these YouTube ideas. I'd go out to a cafe, sit down by myself, talk to the barista, blah, blah, blah. They are going to have a black Americano, get into a nice conversation with them, or try to at least, whilst the coffee's being made, grab the coffee, sit down in the cafe, and I'd just spend hours there writing, thinking, drinking my coffee, thinking of new YouTube ideas, then I'm not gonna lie, people just look at me weirdly. A young guy, right, who's in his teens, who was in a coffee shop by himself, smiling to himself with no issue being by myself. You know, I mentioned this to a friend um, a long time ago, but he was like, you, you sit by yourself in a coffee shop? Yeah, what's wrong with that? I can't do that. I have to go with someone. I have to go with someone to the coffee shop, otherwise it's weird. What? You sit there for hours by yourself just doing your own thing? Yeah, I'm okay with that. I don't have to be speaking all the time. And the thing is, sometimes people come by. 
you know, I'd be there for a while, the barista, she would come back and, you know, we'd get into a conversation and that was fine. I didn't have a problem not talking to people, but I was okay with being quiet, with being in silence and working by myself. That's where true confidence comes from. Being okay to sit in silence with somebody with no problem with that in any situation. Fast forward a couple of months, I ended up dating that barista. Well, we aren't anymore, but that was like over a year ago now. See, that's what happens when you truly understand confidence. The idea, the fact that you don't need to be yapping all the time. True confidence comes from the fact that you are okay sitting in silence. And the best thing that's helped me with this is genuinely going to a coffee shop by myself. You know, maybe there's something that you've been planning to do, that homework or that revision or whatever it is that you've been putting off. Go to a coffee shop, buy a coffee, sit by yourself and just do your work. It genuinely helped me build the confidence with other people in the coffee shop. But being okay, you know, by myself. You know, people would look at me strangely at first, but I grew confidence from it. It actually helped. I hope you're okay. I hope things are right. You know, I make these videos because I want to help other people avoid the mistakes that I did. You know, on self-improvement. You know, someone... I've been on self-improvement for like two years now. But I could help someone else get to the same position I am in a couple months just by avoiding all the mistakes I made and I make these videos specifically boring so if you manage to stay to the end and watch all of this one you have an amazing attention span congratulations and I hope this helped you out and I'd be very appreciative if you clicked on the video it's going to pop up in the corner here because this video could help you out as well and subscribe if you want to see more content like this stay consistent and don't give up. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, some room gets.